VX100000. VX10,000. Just purchased this phone, got it next day. Verizon told me it was going to be a week wait. Uh, guess they were incorrect about their information. I got it today and I'm extremely impressed. Let me show it to you. Here, right here, you have your three main keys send, clear, end. You have your full touch screen and you have the inside portrait keyboard and another screen with two speakers. Let's turn this phone on. Verizon Wireless logo will appear and I'm going to get an up close shot for you. Sorry for any color distortion. And you get your main screen. At this main screen you will see that there is a touch to unlock button very similar to the iPhone. Touch that button, you hear a noise, and I do feel tactile vibration feedback, a great feature. Again, you have your three main keys. On the touch screen, you have a message where you can view your messages, inbox, outbox, sent, drafts, voicemail. You're calling your phone, and that shows I have a text message. Uh, then you also have menu which is a black screen, very similar to the iPhone as you can see. Get it now, messaging, contacts, recent calls, everything's in there, and your contacts. Contacts is very nice, very similar to the iPhone, and you can scroll down and scroll through them. Click on the contact, see their number, and you can end it. That's the front half of the phone. This is the impressive part. Open it up, the full keyboard right there. I'm going to try to get to a good view for you. Very impressive. Keys are widely spread out so I can easily access them. Uh, speaker phone obviously is included in this phone. Basically this phone does not, not offer anything. Um, let me show you something really cool. The one thing I like about this phone, I had the Motorola Q before this. I really wanted full internet. And I was really concerned the Motorola Q offered internet, but it, it was Windows Mobile. It wasn't really true internet. I know the iPhone has the HTML browser. Well, now so has Verizon Wireless. We now have the full HTML browser right here. You can go to any URL. Click this. Go to www. Click that. Let's say we want to go to AOL. WAP.AOL, which is the mobile one, and I will show you the regular one as well. It opens up, uses the EVDO EVDO network, very quick, very fast, very similar to the iPhone. This is their, definitely their competition. Verizon made that very obvious. As you can see, it's still opening, but it loaded most of the page already, so it's very nice. Again, I'm sorry for shaky footage if you see any. Scroll through it just like the iPhone www let's go to a regular page um, my favorite site sharperimage.com they offer great products you'll see how quickly it loads it's a very complex site as well It's already basically loaded. It shows it shows it's done now. So you just scroll right on down. It's very quick, very easy. I mean, that's pretty impressive right there for Verizon to have to offer this. Again, open it up. If you're full keyboard, you can use the arrows right here to scroll up and down. Um, I personally like feeling it. I, I, Feeling the touch screen, that kind of a feel with the vibration, and then your tactile feedback. I love that uh, on this kind of a phone. But let's go to a simple website. Let's open Google. I'm going to go to their regular, not their mobile. Let's see how quickly it loads and how easily. It also reminds me of the Sidekick 3. Um, very similar design. 
So I mean, it loads fairly quickly. Scroll up and scroll down, as you can see, Google search. Um, so let me take you out of this. Also, when you touch the screen, as you can see, you just touch it. Not This is the menu screen, you will see. If I want to go to the menu, it comes up with the eight icons. If I go just push the screen, I get a whole lot more. And I'm going to give you an up-close shot of this one, because I'd like you to see it. You all see that? I'm going to turn the backlight back on. A mobile TV, music, unfortunately I don't have the mobile TV activated. I believe it's $25 a month. I mean, just have a full phone. Uh, VZ Navigators included the camera. I was, you know, I was a little um, skeptical about the camera, what it would offer, but it's actually extremely nice. Um, I saw someone else put a video up of the camera. I obviously did research this phone before I purchased it. And, um, you know, it's, it's actually very nice. I, I have a Canon SD630, and it's actually kind of similar screen size-wise. I love that large screen. Here, I'll show it to you all. A little choppy. We'll take a picture, and it'll focus itself automatically for you. See how it went in and out? And it takes it. I mean, it's actually pretty clear. I'm going to erase that one. But... It's actually extremely nice. Go to options, and look, you have all these other options here. You have your contrast levels, timing, nighttime, uh, video or picture, anything you really want. So overall, I'm extremely impressed with this phone. I will show you the menu. If I were to go to settings and tools, it's just you're scrolling right through it, just like the iPhone. We'll go to let's say we go to phone settings, banner, personal banner. You know, I mean, it's just. Very similar to the iPhone. It's a great step in advance for Verizon. Extremely impressed. Do you recommend it? So if you're looking for a new phone, uh, either for the holidays or anything, do you recommend it? Thanks everybody for watching and uh, good luck.